jumping into the set that we have in front of us. We have Suave, a Yoshi main versus uh, Odyssey, uh, our resident uh, Fox main, and also Green Ninja, and a little bit of Palutena as well. Um, yeah, he's a very, very potent competitor. He is so, so good at what he does. Um, that, oh, wow. I really like that. Normally, a Fox doesn't get any follow-ups off of his throws, but just like catching the fact that Suave wasn't pressing a button or just like hoping the down throw would just reset neutral. And right now, these tech chases are netting him so much percent. Really great shield pressure with the drill down air. Uh, not able to find much off of it. Thinking Suave was going to air dodge or drift outwards. Um, and so he extended himself appropriately to be able to punish that. Uh, almost catching Suave's landing, but Suave this time landing really nicely aggressively with uh, just like the slow drift back air. That's an air. Ah, oh, trying to set up the jab lock, but because of how close he was to the edge and because of his drift, he just got pushed off. Um, but yeah, you can't cross up Fox's shield like that. That is very, very unsafe. A Fox's up smash is ridiculously quick and will kill you. Often. That is what Fox is looking for. Either like an out of shield up smash or a falling nail into up smash. Nice way to mix up the landing, even though that is like a really, really strong commitment. Swab was on the complete other side of the stage. like that little blast. You can just hit him once, got a couple of percent, and was like, okay, I, right, that's it. I've had enough. So I feel like Suave is maybe trying to force an interaction right now. Like we saw with the gun off up smash. I don't think he had a very good read that um, Odyssey was going to do something, but that down B is going to catch the jump really, really well. Able to take out uh, Odyssey's first stop. Ooh, dropping the shield a little bit too early. Gonna get hit with the down air, thinking that Swab wasn't gonna land on the platform. All right, now this is Odyssey's stock to take. That is a nail into up smash, but unfortunately he was at the edge of the stage. All right now, Swab is looking to get something started. He had the read that Audi was gonna press a button, but he was still just like unable to punish that. Really nice back here just to get him off the stage. That move does not kill as early as it used to uh, in previous iterations of the video game. Oh well. Not gonna throw it at me this time. Um. Oh, he's looking for that near up smash. He's just mixing up his timing with the double jump. So even though it looks like he's going for these repetitive options, he's not because he's constantly mixing up his timing. He's like, okay, am I going to jump? Am I going to double jump? Am I just going to fast fall this? Am I going to tomahawk? And so that kind of mix up is what makes such like a simple win condition like seem so complex and terrifying. Yeah, at that point, Adi has such a good read that Suave was just going to press a button. He didn't try to get a single follow-up, he just waited, and he got the whip punish accordingly. Nice Tomahawk landing into the reverse grab. So good. Right now, so dangerous to get back onto stage against Yoshi, but that is going to be the jump from ledge into the back air. Really, really confident game one from Odyssey. Definitely showing off his prowess as a player. So, I feel like for game two, Swab, in this advantage, pressed down B a couple of times when he didn't have a good read that Audi was going to go for the follow-up. And as a result, he kind of, you know, blew up for it just a little tiny bit. Um, Audi held his advantage super, super well. And Swab just needs to, I feel like, dude, I mean, Audi really wasn't off stage all that much. But if a Fox is off stage against a Yoshi, like, that should be the stop right now. I feel like also maybe Suave is sitting in shield a little bit. That was a really strange interaction. Um, I feel like uh, uh, Suave is just maybe like unfamiliar with some of the out of shield punish timings, like knowing like what's safe, what to expect. Um, and then Audi is just like mixing up his like on block habits quite a bit. Really nice up tilt to catch the cross up down air. Really nice catch on the air dodge once again. Adi not only has really good reactions, just he is playing so 
pay. He's playing so passive aggressively. Butler's like constantly up in your face, waiting for you to initiate first. And his spacing is just immaculate as well. Trying to initiate something with the egg uh, that can confirm into like neutral air or a forward air, something along those lines. Trying to get the up throw into a follow up, not able to quite find it yet. Yeah, I mean, Suave is holding back and it is showing because. Like, Audi is just running and running and running, and Suave isn't landing aggressively. Like, Suave just wants to get back onto stage. Suave really wants to land. This is such a good lead for Odyssey right now. I feel like Suave is, you know, he needs to mix up his timings on his aerials just a little bit because Audi has such a good idea of when he's going to be coming down um, aggressively with something. Because it seems like every time that Suave is short hopping, um, there goes an aerial, right? Every time he's in the air, he's going to press a button as he's falling. And Odyssey, as a result, was able to pick up on that. Um, and and just like really like dealing a lot of damage now. Had the right idea. Just a little bit late on his timing. Oh my god, that pressure of just double jumping on top of somebody's shield like that. Suave so afraid to drop shield. That back here almost killing and using the shine to stall himself so he could connect another back here. What a three stock from Odyssey. So good. Mm. Yep, that was a really good play. Odyssey is so good. And I feel like Suave, he, there was like a little point where he was like, oh man, I really want to be dealing some damage right now. I gotta land a move right now or else this game is gonna get away from me.